Hi Book Nerd Readers, I'm Marissa Meyer. I'm the author of Cinder and the Lunar Chronicles. And I've been invited here today to talk about my characters a little bit. And so I thought that I would do kind of a show and tell. Um, I've pulled together some things that I feel represent the characters. And what I chose to represent Cinder um, are gloves. Cinder is a cyborg and she has, her left hand is entirely made of metal. Uh, and she lives in a society in which cyborgs are kind of seen as second class citizens and so she tries to hide the fact that she's cyborg uh, by wearing gloves all the time. She also works as a mechanic. The gloves make me think of Cinder not only because she uses them to hide behind, um, but they also kind of represent her hard workingness and her resourcefulness um, and this talent that she has for being such a great mechanic. The second character that I'm going to talk about is one of my favorite characters. She is Eco, uh, Cinder's best friend slash sidekick who happens to be an android. And she is a type of android that doesn't have feet. She has treads, kind of like you would see on a tank. And that's too bad for Eco because she is in love with shoes. She loves women's shoes and that's why. I am using um, this lovely slipper um, to represent Eco because even though she's a robot and she's an android, um, all she really wants is to, to be human and she wants to go to the ball just like all of the other girls want to go to the ball, um, but she can't because she's an android, uh, so shoes. Alright, next on my list of show and tell is a teen magazine. The reason I have this magazine is because it has a cinder spread in it somewhere. This magazine I am using to represent Peony, who is Cinder's younger stepsister. She's 14 years old and she has the hugest celebrity crush on Prince Kai, uh, who is obviously the prince of the book and of their country that they live in. Um, and so I remember when I was 14 years old flipping through these teen celebrity magazines um, and fawning over all the cute boys. So that makes me think of Peony because I can just see her, even though they don't actually have like printed magazines anymore in Cinder's world, um, she would subscribe to every one of them if they did. So for the last character that I'm going to talk about today, my prop is a little bit more cumbersome um, because it's the entire world. There's uh, the Eastern Commonwealth. Anyways, this I am using to represent Prince Kai because he has the weight of the world on his shoulders. Don't get so cheesy. Um, but it's kind of true. You know, Prince Kai, he is next in line to be the emperor of one of only six countries in the world. Yeah, so the world represents Kai, I feel, because even though he, you know, wants to be a normal-ish teenage guy, he can't be because he has, you know, the world relying on him. So that's my little show and tell uh, about four of my favorite characters in Cinder. Um, if you check out the book or if you've already read it, I hope that you enjoy reading about them as much as I've enjoyed writing them. Whether you're repairing machines like Cinder or contouring your cheeks with your highlighter slash bronzer combo, every girl needs the right set of tools for the job.